Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today we're going to take a look at another batch of awesome custom Masters of the Universe Classics heads by the very talented Kevin Cosey. Now, I've taken a look at some of these in a couple videos in the past, so if you haven't already seen these, make sure you check out those past videos to see exactly how cool this stuff is. Kevin is a very talented independent sculptor who makes some really cool custom heads that fit perfectly on your Masters of the Universe Classics bodies. So let's go ahead and take a look at his latest batch of work. Now before we go forward, let me explain how these work. They each have a hole that is in the bottom of them that will fit on the ball joint that is on the Masters of the Universe Classics body. And then he usually just gives you some little pieces of sticky tack to put on the inside. That way it fits on the ball joint just fine, still allows you to rotate it around and it stays in place. But you don't have to worry about it being too tight or squeezing on and damaging the custom head. So it's very cool how it works and it's very simple. So why don't we go ahead and kick things off by taking a look at some of these awesome heads and we'll start with his version of Snake Man at Arms. So this is just a really nice alternate head you could use for your Snake Man at Arms figure. Instead of having the open angry mouth, this one just has a closed mouth, very cool reptilian look to the face, beautiful paint job with lots of great little scales and everything going on there. And one of the things that's great about this is it has a removable helmet. So you can pose the figure with his helmet and his arms at his side, or you can fit the helmet on his head. Next up is this really cool original Horde Prime head. Now this is based on some really cool fan artwork by He-Man.org forum member G. Bagok. So this is really neat because this is for anybody who maybe didn't like the Horde Prime head that was designed for the Horde Prime action figure. You want to try something different, change it up. The color scheme matches perfectly with the Horde Prime action figure and just gives you either a new character or maybe this is a style of Horde Prime you'd prefer to use, but either way, it's a really cool addition to your toy shelf. Next up, we have another new Skeletor head. Now, Kevin's done several different Skeletor heads in the past, and this one here, he dubs his 2000X version of Skeletor. So this is more meant to look like the shape of the head and the cowl is seen on the 2000X version of Skeletor. It's a very cool design with a beautiful paint job, nice glowing red eyes. It's got a great cowl shape to it, and it will look really nice on your Skeletor figure. Any of your Masters of the Universe classic Skeletor figures, maybe you can paint them up to better match it, but it does look great gives you another alternate method for displaying Skeletor. Alright, so this next one is really fun. This piece here was actually an exclusive at Grey Skull Con. This is designed specifically for your Mighty Spector figure. There are a lot of folks out there I know who did not like the spade symbol that is on the bandolier that Spector is wearing, so this is the classic symbol that was seen on the old Masters of the Universe Warrior Ring. It's just this cool little yellow circular piece. You can use a piece of sticky tack and it fits perfectly right on the little symbol piece on the bandolier, covers up that spade symbol, and now you've got yourself a more Masters of the Universe looking logo on Spector's chest. Now you want another use for the Spector body and you don't like the Spector head? Well this is another fun one that Kevin made. It's Phantom 3000 and it's got a perfect color scheme to match up with the mighty Spector body and gives you basically a Masters of the Universe Classics version of Phantom 3000. So the last custom head we're going to look at here is the unhelmeted head for Sir Laserlot. This is a really cool custom head because I think a lot of folks would like this to really help them better appreciate the Sir Laserlot figure. I know there's a lot of folks out there who had mixed feelings on that particular figure. This head is based on the appearance of the character in the DC comic, the one shot that was done. Uh, it's very cool head. It's got a nice little ponytail sticking off the back there. It fits great on the laser lot body, and then of course you can just use the alternate regular head as the helmet holding in his hands there. It's really cool, really spruces up the laser lot figure, and I think this is definitely my favorite of this new batch.
Okay, now this next piece is not a custom head, but it is incredibly impressive. This is Kevin's miniature sculpture of the Filmation Castle Grayskull. This thing is tiny. I mean, you can see the size of it in my hands here. You can see the size of it compared to a Masters of the Universe Classics figure. And it's so small, yet it has such amazing detail in it and a beautiful paint job. This is probably one of my absolute favorite pieces that I have ever seen Kevin produce. And he's got some amazing work, but this thing is just incredibly amazing. I absolutely love it. It's on this beautiful little black pedestal, so it's great for display. It's just tiny, little micro sculpture, would look great on your display shelf with your figures, would look really cool as an item on your desk. It's just fantastic. I mean, I'm my mind is blown by the amazing detail that is put into this little thing. And if that's not cool enough, he also made another version of it that is a snow globe. So you can have a cool little Eternian snow globe with the snow falling on Castle Grayskull there. It's just a really cool little collectible piece. So once again, Kevin has made some amazing additions to the Masters of the Universe Classics collection, and also some really unique Masters of the Universe pieces. If you're a fan of what Kevin's doing here, I would highly recommend you check him out at his Facebook page, which can be found at facebook.com slash kevin.cosi. Head over there, send him a message, chat with him. Trust me, he's got some amazing items. Until next time...